Hello internet, it's another tag. Before we start, I just want to apologize to all the people that have tagged me in videos. I have three tag videos to go up, including this one, and they've all been late, mostly because of this one. So I just want to apologize to Ant for the previous tag video, Jimmy for the next one, and Fraser because this one was really late as well, I'm sorry. Obviously, if you're a later viewer coming to this, having gone through the backlog of videos I've got, um, the whole late aspect doesn't really mean anything to you, so just, just ignore that. So guys, please accept my humble apologies, particularly Fraser, whose tag video response this is. Wait a minute. You tagged me, Holly and Amanda. Amanda hasn't done one yet. I'm not the only one. Fuck it. Screw you. Whatever. So here's a fact about me. I used to be young. Shocker, right? You thought I was born this way. Like Lady Gaga. My birthday's in July, by the way, just in case you want to send me any birthday well wishes or, you know, just stop sending me death threats for a bit. To the questions. I was born in 1990. That's right, proper 90s kid. Right on the dot. Some people say that you're not a real 90s kid unless you were a child when the 90s started rather than being a newborn infant or a baby. Or they say that you have to be born before 1990, like at least 1989. Don't be that guy. Don't take this away from me. You want to see a picture of me as a child? You can have a couple. There you go. Oh, look at that adorable little bastard. Don't you just hate him? Don't you just want to punch him in his stupid little face? You should have died at birth! Then neither of us would be in this situation! It would have been easier on everyone! Oh, all the greats, all the classics. You know, you got your 80s reruns like Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles, Recess, X-Men the Animated Series, Noah's Island, The Animals of Farthing Wood, Cow and Chicken, Spider-Man Animated Series, Angry Beavers, Fairly Odd Parents. I'm just naming cartoons. Art Attack, Neil Buchanan, what a legend. Oh, and Zap, he did that as well. Oh, Get Your Own Back with Dave Benson Phillips. I used to have loads of stuff on video. That was a thing as well, VHS, videotapes. God, blimey. Charlie Chalk. Oh, Fraser, you don't know what you've done. I'm gonna go watch kids shows now. Sod the rest of this tag. It's over, it's done. I'm off. Oh, I had loads of fleeting ideas of what I wanted to be when I was older, all the time. Fraser said that he wanted to be a policeman. I, I did at one point as well. Although I think that was entirely motivated by a little transformer playset thing I had when I was a kid. It was like a police truck and then it opened up into like a mobile HQ. It was amazing. Yeah, I stopped wanting to be a police officer when I realized that they didn't actually have transforming trucks. Not to mention police officers have to be good at the bleep test. If you don't know what that is, that's a way for PE teachers to legitimately torture fat kids. Some other things that I wanted to be at one time or another were a Jedi, a wrestler, an animator, a writer, a video game designer, a comedian, a scientist, an inventor, a dinosaur, a pirate, a voice actor, and less of a nuisance to everybody. And most of those still hold true today, particularly those in the creative field, like a writer or an artist, and also the dinosaur. That's my main aspiration. If anyone's willing to pay me to be those things, let me know. A lot of the time when I was younger, I used to play with stuffed animals. In particular, this one. This is my teddy bear. His name is Teddy because I was super imaginative. On the subject of teddy bears, when people have stuffed animals that aren't bears and call them teddies, no. Oh, I've got a teddy fish. I've got a teddy toucan. No, I will accept stuffed animal where animal can be replaced with the particular creature that it is, soft toy or begrudgingly plushy. That's, that's pretty much it. Teddy is short for teddy bear. That's the bottom line. Isn't that right, Teddy? I did search for some other toys to show and I found uh, a wooden train with magnets and a stickle brick. So Lego, I had lots of Lego. I used to play with Lego a lot and, and Transformers, Beast Wars, Trans Beast Wars. That was another show. I can't tell you specific times, okay? It's just too much. The fact is that I was a fat, useless, nerdy, clumsy, gullible crybaby of a child and my younger years were basically a string of embarrassing events interspersed with mealtimes. Actually, that's not really changed a lot since I've moved into my adult life and a lot of the things that happened still haunt me to this day. I couldn't find anything I'd written in nursery. I couldn't find any writing from my childhood at all. There's probably some about, but I just don't know where to find it. I did find this though, which is a planner 
diary thing from 2001. It's got a little bit of writing in it. Personal data here. I've interestingly put my religion as Christian. So I also helpfully wrote in when my birthday is and it contains a fake trainer ID I made. I presume it's about Pokemon. Straight off the bat, Eiffel 65, I'm blue, parentheses, dabba dee, dabba die. Couldn't get enough of that tune. If we go like right back, Alice DJ, Artful Dodger. Also like Shaggy, wasn't him. Actually wasn't him, it was the, the other dude in the song, wasn't it? I wasn't afraid of pop music back then either. You know, all the boy bands and stuff. Just anything, because you don't, you don't care when you're a kid. Eventually though, towards the end of primary school and moving into secondary school, I started growing into rock and metal. Papa Roach, Linkin Park, Limp Bizkit, Evanescence. Still like all of that. Also, my mum used to listen to a lot of music in the car, on the radio and stuff. R&B and jazz, old school Motown stuff. There are quite a few songs like that, that if you played them, I'd be like, I know this song, even though I have no idea what it's called or who it's by. I don't think we did dress up. For Halloween when I was a kid. A dress up was usually like a party. You know, you, you could have a Halloween party and that was fancy dress and I'd dress up for that. My mum did make me a pretty cool mummy costume once. Like the Egyptian kind. She didn't just dress me in her clothes and march me around as her tiny doppelganger. It was good but I do remember it falling apart about 10-15 minutes into the party and then I was just a kid in normal clothes with a really redundant looking mummy mask that he couldn't be bothered to wear anymore. Again, this is a difficult one because I couldn't really think of anything and I tried asking my parents, but their definition of funny is not really funny. Yeah, this here is a box I took to uni with me and it's got some stuff in it. Magic the Gathering cards, Link's Awakening on Game Boy, Rampage, Game Boy Advance, Pokemon Silver Game Boy holder. Inside is... Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Yellow, and Dragon Warrior Monsters. Got Pokemon Pinball with a Rumble Pack. I also, while searching, found my old Game Boy Color with magnifying screen. These are my teeth that I had removed. Oh god, it's opening. Uh, it's disgusting but intriguing at the same time. I'm not going to show it to you, but if you want to see it, write in the comments or tweet me, and I will take a picture of the contents of this bag and send it to you. And here is something that will give you an insight into the kind of child I was. Fucking stamps. Disney stamps. 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 I think probably the best way to put it would be what was something normal you used to do as a child? Uh, it was pretty scary at the time my Norwegian friend's dad gave us a bollocking for messing around. I think it was mainly because of the disproportionate rage from a guy that had seemed pretty cool with our mild rebelling up until that point. Plus the fact he managed to pick all three of us up with his bare hands and pin us against the wall screaming into our faces. The groak from the Moomins was pretty freaky. Everything seems much smaller now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, it does, but I think the biggest thing for me would still be the internet. Like, when I was a kid, it just wasn't a thing. I'm pretty sure it wasn't until around, like, 96 that we actually got, like, a 56k dial-up modem in our house and actually had the internet for the first time. And now look at it! It's everywhere! And it's super fast! It's integral to everything we do! I'm, I'm talking to you via it right now! It's bloody amazing! A lot of people who have done this tag previously talked about how they used to go out into the street and play with randoms until god knows what sort of time. Who the fuck were your parents? I mean sure, I probably did less of that because I enjoyed such adventurous pursuits as reading and drawing and playing with computers. Back before the internet when that used to mean something. It means you haven't got any friends. But I certainly couldn't have got away with that, my goodness. So that's it for this tag, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that this was both entertaining and enlightening for you. And not dull. Oh, I've got to tag people now. Like the video, subscribe and comment and whatever, and um, I will tag for this. I was going to tag Ant, but he's my brother, so he'll probably end up with something quite similar to this, so I'll probably choose someone else. Um, I'm going to go with Laura. Laura Heather, because I said I'd tag her in something, and it's this one. Irregular Charlie, why not? Because he's not done one of these, as far as I know. And Stuart from Madman FM, because he could do one of these as well. So I'll see you next time with a, another video of some description. So, yeah.